You want to see some total chaos, Pat? <laughs> yeah. yeah, please. Finally, I've I, been waiting for it. I because here's the thing: we like to um, we like to do a segment called Pit Police, but I don't know if uh, Pit Police are allowed in this venue because it's this is pure anarchy. This uh, uh, recently purchased t- uh, bootleg T-shirt of band End It was playing, <laughs> right. and bro, it is a 15 second clip, and I'm. I'm going to put money on you will not expect what's about to happen. I, I, I am very excited to find out. I have, I have no idea. I have not seen this before. So I'm very usually you're like, oh, and, I've seen I'll, this. No, and I'll trust you here. G- like, just guess in your head what's about to happen. And I, I'll honor system. Like, you'll tell me if it's even close. Do you want me to reveal it or do you want me to just have it in my head? You, you know what? Hit me with it. Just tell me I, what you think is about to happen. I think there's going to be something with a stage diver. But like, but I feel like the stage. I feel like a drop kick, maybe a okay. drop kick. Drop kick. Okay. All right. Pat thinks a drop kick. Let's see yeah. what happens. Somewhere along the way. <laughs> it was not a drop kick. It was a full size folding table. <laughs> They went fucking. They went Dudley Boys. What? I mean, yeah. somebody... <laughs> <laughs> who are they? Who are they? Three Ding through that table. I don't know, dude. I think they're trying to find a Spike Dudley at this venue. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. I honestly thought I was. I I thought like that. Oh, he. My first instinct was just to say, "Oh, he better not turn his back to the audience." Like for some reason, I thought something bad was going to happen to the band. <laughs> that was pleasantly surprising. <laughs> And wait, I also I want to run it back one more time. Watch how unaffected the band is by it. Yeah. Yeah, not even like not even like a oh shit, is that a fucking table? <laughs> not even one person going, hey guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no- wait a minute. They I just realized it. They shared the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, look, I just realized it's their Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> they they shared the video like, yes, dude, throw tables at our shows. Dude, I'm yeah. telling you, if I was at the show and I was, you know, I was a good old, my my good old eight Miller lights in and I saw someone just throwing a table, my I would just be like, oh, it's like that tonight? <laughs> and just We're fucking let's go we're doing tables those are the rules for the evening dude i i honestly i don't i don't even know and but none of that was at the total chaos show none of that there was there is not one table not even one goddamn table here's an alternate angle see the table it comes in quick i wanted to stop it you see the table (laughs) oh Because I was like, I was like, is this like an ongoing thing that they had going for most of the show, or is this the? Dude, I would love it to find out too if, like, dude, legit, because the pit's big enough. Someone could have hit a fucking three D that night, man. Yeah, absolutely. The, the The stage was the perfect height that if you would have been able, somebody stood up there, they could have jumped off. Like that's like a second rope height, right? Like that wasn't like it's not super duper high or anything like that, but that's like second rope height. Maybe well, maybe dude, a little. You could jump off the stage, but if you, if you have enough coordination, like I remember one time I was at my job when I used to work at U Line, and me and the me and the in the UPS department, you'd be working on the line, and you'd have your station, and you'd have your boy right across from you, and whenever. I remember we were talking about wrestling all day and we were talking about Dudley boys. And I had this package I made where it was like super long. So I go to my buddy across me and I throw up the package and I just go three D. And then he knows he just knew what to fucking do. I feel like, I feel like you could lock in with someone that night and just find the perfect person to hit a three D with you. Dude, they do it at Buffalo bills games. Like they do it out in the parking lot at Buffalo bills games. Why not do it at, Bring it into fucking in, in hardcore music. Why not? Why not? Jump up on For a little scaffolding. Like the chariot definitely set up a lot of ECW style stunt. Like that if they would have just if they would have just followed through with it, there's plenty of times where they could have jumped off the scaffolding through a table Bro. if somebody set it up in the pit. Can you imagine you that? You don't realize what you just fucking 
on earth like bringing ecw into fucking hardcore shows yeah so like dude like you we've seen it before and i know some people are gonna say that's not safe people will get hurt exactly yeah um, what... but for le but for legal reasons don't ever do that shit yeah I'm i want to make it a superhuman <laughs> i want to make it very clear for you guys i do not want you to do that shit <laughs> <laughs> um but no <laughs> yeah let's just make sure that we're clear andy and myself would never ask you to do that shit <laughs> it would be irresponsible of us to tell you to bring a fucking table and other <laughs> implements to a hardcore show and act out ecw shit if you go to see better lovers set up a fucking folding chair set up a couple fucking tables on top of each other <laughs> have a full hardcore match and have a hardcore match but try to slam somebody through two tables at once <laughs> hey, what's, what's going to happen you're gonna crack your hip who gives a fuck there is actually dude there's a rapper who does a fucking i just remembered this fuck i gotta look it up action Bronson. um no, 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 no. He actually he will fucking pop up power bomb guys, but he legitimately gets mad when people run on stage. Really? Um, That's crazy. That's crazy that he would he would uh I feel like what he does is almost directly not uh what's it called? Uh I feel like he's an enabler. He enables that that behavior and by like slamming it and making it fun for everybody, if he truly hates it, why wouldn't he just like shoot everybody? Just shoot him or have them shot. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like he's he's a rich guy. He's in New that's York. That's an idea. Yeah. No, that's that's an idea. If if people in the audience don't do what you want, you just shoot him in the chest. I don't I don't hate that idea, Pat. I didn't say the chest. You said the chest. I mean, I was thinking maybe hit like like under the waist, below the waist, maybe dick. Oh, you're one of those guys who goes, why doesn't cops just shoot people in the leg? No, I say, why don't they shoot him in a dick? <laughs> why don't we have more dick shots? <laughs> I want him to be more no, scared. It... Shot. Yeah, pa okay, here, here's the video. Yeah, apparently there's a, apparently there's this rapper, Duke Deuce, mm. and um, it was funny because uh, I think Nate sent the group chat this video. And he was like, oh, shit. And then I was, I, walked, I looked it up a bunch, and I'm like, oh, this is just a thing he does at his show. That's one of those things where, like, until it happens, you're like, "Oh, that's that's clearly this is this is a terrible thing that's happening." And then you're like, "Ah, oh, that was wrestling. We're having fun. We're having a good time." <laughs> you know, Bro, like, yeah, that's, that, I like that. That's awesome, dude. More more three Ds at shows. Yeah, honestly, more. If we could, like, I, I feel like I'm I'm down. I I don't know if either. I mean, I know you could lift me, but like asking me to run up into your arms. Like that would be a little bit much. So we need to set somebody up that we can pick up uh, that we can either I'll pick somebody up and you 3D him or you pick somebody up and I'll 3D him. I feel like the 3D is not crazy. Like even if you have a heavy boy, I feel yeah. like the 3D isn't crazy to hit. But like how, you just how need crazy. you just need you just need someone to like go through the motions. You know what but I mean? How how crazy would it be for, for you to just pop an MCL or just fucking you're just you're needed just blow out because you were 3Ding one of your buddies at a drain show nah dude I'm watching it right now now that I say it that's pretty cool yeah that would be that'd be just like saying that sentence out loud yeah I, I had to sometimes you just got to work it out sometimes actually like, wait wwe's fucking hardcore about taking stuff down so i'm not gonna pull that up actually but no i'm watching the videos the 3d is literally like someone comes running at you they they just they like put they their jump. hands on your they put their hands on your shoulder and you lift them up and then the other person on the other side of you brings them down it's not 
Like if you, if we figured out the move and you or me were running at one or one another, we would just have to go through the motions. It wouldn't be crazy. Let's do it. Let's start doing it to people that aren't expecting it. Though. <laughs> you want just 3D strangers? 3D people for real, like actual real people, like ladies, anybody that's in the pit. It doesn't matter. That's that's really funny, too, because I saw this video where uh, I guess Randy Orton, you know, Randy Orton, he does the RKO. Yeah, yeah. He was at um, like his kids basketball game. And then these kids who were there realized he was there. So in front of Randy Orton, dude, the, the Twitter account I saw it on, it was like one of those like big, like fucking meme accounts or whatever, or it was one of the, it, it was like one of those sports accounts that just shares a bunch of like trending sports videos every fucking day. And they, so they're like, they're like, these kids are fucking hilarious. They hit the RKO right in front of Randy Orton. Okay. And then you watch the video and they hit it by the way. You know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not too proud to fucking shit on some children. They had horrible form, just no uh, n horrible form. They definitely just watched the video before they did it to figure it out. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Terrible form. And then they just hit it. And then the camera goes right to Randy Orton and he just has this face on him. He's just like, yeah, it's the move I do. Cool. Cool guys. <laughs> like did not give a shit. <laughs> wrestling right anyway gotta go yeah <laughs> anyway yeah is, that's a, what does rko stand for i've always wondered this um i honestly don't know do you know i don't know actually isn't it also like isn't that as i always thought it was his initials is it his initials you know what it might be or is it real knockout or something like that i i remember oh, always got randy <laughs> wait this sucks ass oh yeah no it is <laughs> No, 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 you were right. The first thing that pops up says RKO Randy's knockout. That sucks. But, a, but sucks. this other one, according to fandom.com, it stands for real knockout. That's not, that's, that's, that's not better. better. No, it's better, but it's not gr way better. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like good. It's still not good. I feel like there was a, you remember Mark Marrow? He was the, he was like a boxing uh, wrestling man. He, he was the one that kind of, uh when when uh sable became really popular she was yeah. she was his bitch so uh they used to go out <laughs> he was a he was a boxing man and his move was the tko and i was like oh okay. yeah told, i was like technical knockout because that's what it is in boxing they're uh, they're like no total knockout oh i was just like Ugh. <laughs> ew <laughs> ew well, yeah Yucky. Can I tell you what your can I tell you what your problem is, Pat? I expected something from wrestling. No, 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 no. Your problem is, it's it's completely fine to expect stuff from wrestling. It pays off quite often. No, your problem is you know about fighting. Yeah. Wrestling is for people who like fighting who don't know anything about fighting. <laughs> you find <laughs> you find um dude, I swear like people like me and Lemare and you, you even said you were joking, but you still like like wrestling. It's just yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah. You, I get it. We you, people like you, me, and Lemare are the very rare case of people who like wrestling and enjoy MMA. It's either one or the other. Most people who like MMA or boxing look at wrestling like this is the stupidest shit ever, and then. People, most people who like wrestling, they'll look at MMA and go, "Oh, you saying our thing's gay? That's pretty gay." You know, it's like there's not. That's why the um, what was the deal where the 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 deal where WWE and MMA are under like the same company now? Yeah, it's Titan Titan Sports, I think it is, or something like that. It's called now. No, it's something else. Because yeah. I think they were Titan back in the day. But either way, I was like, that's an interesting deal to make. Because I feel like the MMA and the wrestling crossover is a very small sect of people. Because I've been noticing it in wrestling. People are starting to get kind of like bored of the MMA fighters coming over and all that shit. Because it's just, you know, it's 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 like a gimmicky thing and they don't really know how to do it half the time. Like, I got no personal beef with uh, Tyson Fury, but... I'll be honest, him and Brock Lesnar was one of the worst wrestling matches I've ever seen. Like it yeah. was awful. You know, and I got it's nothing personal. It's just you can't 
you know, they take these dudes who've never wrestled, give them a little bit of training and put them on some of the biggest pay-per-views ever. They're not going to be good. Um, yeah. They're actually called think... group holdings. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> um, 